Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Shravan, Assistant Professor, VVCE, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. Today, in this video, we are going to learn and understand the calculation of forward premium or discount. Without wasting too much time, let's go directly into the problem. In the given problem, they are given the data like this. You are called upon a foreign exchange trader and ask for a quotation spot 1 month, 3 month and 6 months. The trader has responded like this. That is 0.2479 slash 81. That means here 0.2479 is the bid rate. 0.2481 is the ask rate. Please do remember that. 3 bar 5. That is 3 is the bid rate. And 5 is the ask rate. 8 slash 7 comma 13 slash 10. The first question is what does this mean in terms of dollars per euro? That is for every 1 euro you are going to get 0 0.2479 dollar. That is the meaning of it. B question. If you wish to buy spot euros how much would you pay in dollars? Question number C. If you want to purchase spot US dollar, how much would you have to pay in Euro? D. What is the premium or discount in the 1 month, 3 months and the 6 months forward rate in annual percentage? Assuming you are buying Euros. Now for the question number A. What does this mean in terms of dollars per euro for this question what we need to do is we need to prepare bid and ask table for spot market one month forward market three months forward market as well as for the six months forward market now let's prepare the bid as well as the ask table first is the bid next is the ask first is the spot market for the spot market, they have directly given that is for 1 euro, that is it is 0 0.2479 dollar. That means if you sell 1 euro, you are going to get 0 0.2479 dollar. But if you want to purchase 1 euro means you need to pay how much? 0 0.24 eight one dollar now next is for the one month forward market for the one month market, uh, forward market they are not given directly they are given the quote like three slash five sir what to do here three is the bid rate and five is the ask rate so, whenever ask rate is greater than bid rate means, please do remember it is a forward premium market. So, in that situation, what we need to do is, we need to add it. That means, sir, add for this spot price, that is 0 0.0003, that is, you are going to get 0 0.2481 dollar. Now, after one month, if you sell one euro, you are going to get 0 0.2481 dollar. Now, for the ask rate, you need to add 5 point. That is 0 0.0005. That is, you are going to get 0 0.Z sorry 2486 that means if you want to purchase 1 euro means now you need to pay 2486 dollar this is how you need to prepare the bid ask 
price table using this code now for three month contract now we need to prepare the bid and the ask for the three month what is the code they have given they have given eight slash seven eight slash seven here in this case eight is bid seven is ask rate seven is less than eight or not ask rate is less than bid rate in this situation we need to minus from the spot price because it is a forward discount in the earlier contract that is for the one month they have given the quote three slash five here five is greater than three at that situation we have added but in this situation ask price that is seven is less than the bid that is eight so that means we need to minus it what is the spot bid price that is 0 0.2479 we need to minus 8 point that is 0 0.008 how much it will give you it will give you 0 0.2471 now same thing you do it for the ask price also what is the spot ask price 0 0.2481 is the spot ask price for that you minus seven points 0 0.007 in this situation you are going to get 0 0.2474 dollar now prepare for the six months now for the six months they have quoted at 13 slash 10 that means again 10 is less than 13 that is ask is less than the bid now what we need to do we need to minus it from the spot bid price how much it is the spot bid price 2479 minus 13.0.0013 this will give you 0.2466 now the same thing you are do it for the ask price also what is the spot ask price 0 0.2481 minus 10 points now 0 0.0010 it will give you how many dollar 0 0.2471 this is the answer for the question number 8 what they have told us they have told us to prepare the bid and the ask rate for the spot price for the one month contract for the three month contract and the six month contract we have done it using the code what they have given now for the question number b what it says it says if you want to wish to buy spot euros how much you need to pay in dollars now what is the spot quote rate spot quote rate is bid is 0.24 79 what is the ask ask is 0 0.2481 what is this meaning if you sell 1 euro you are going to get 0 0.2479 but if you want to purchase 1 euro how much you need to pay you need to pay 0 0.2481 this is the question that they are told for 1 euro how many dollars you need to pay how many dollars that i need to pay that is for the question number b for 1 euro i need to pay 0 0.2481 dollar this is the answer for the question number b for the question number c what is the data it says if you want to purchase spot us dollar how much you need to pay in euros that means what go to the spot market price and tell me what is the price in the spot market the bid price is 0 0.2479 and the ask price is 0 0.2481 dollar now what is the meaning of the bid here 
if you sell 1 euro you are going to get you are selling euro and you are purchasing what dollar and this as you are what you are doing you are selling dollar and purchasing euro this is the as but the question what they are saying to purchase dollar how much euro i need to sell that is the question if you sell 1 euro you are going to get how much what is the spot bid price it is 0 0.2479 dollar that means we can interchange it if you want 2.749 dollar you need to sell 1 euro but if i want 1 dollar how many euros i need to sell cross multiply it now 1 into 1 divided by 0 0.2479 that will give you 4.0 roughly around 3.4 euro that means to get 1 dollar i need to sell 4.0 three four euros this is the answer for the question number c now for the question number d what it says they are asking us to calculate the premium or discount for one three or six months forward rate assuming buying euro this is what they are saying now for that what we will do is, we will make a table like this, what we have already calculated for the question number A. Now here in this, whether we need to take the bid price or the ask price, bid here means what? Here we are selling euro and we are purchasing dollar. Whether they have told us to sell euro? No. So that means we are not taking the bid price. What about the as? Here we are purchasing euro and selling dollar. Whether they have told to purchase euro? Yes, they have told to purchase euro. Assuming that only, they have told to calculate the forward premium or discount. So that means we need to take the price of the ask using this now let us calculate the forward premium or discount for one month three month or six months first let's calculate one month forward premium or discount what is the formula forward price minus spot price divided by spot price multiplied by 12 divided by n into 100 check the forward price and the spot price check whether it is increased or decreased spot price is 0 0.2481 future price that is one month 0 0.2486 that means it has increased so that is one month forward premium so what is the future price future price is 0 0.2486 minus spot price is 0 0.2481 divided by spot price is 0 0.2481 multiplied by 12 divided by n is how much n is 1 because it is a one month forward contract multiplied by 100 now 0 0.2486 minus 0 0.2481 that will give you 0 0.0005 divided by 0 0.2481 into 12 into 100 this will give you roughly around 2.42 percent 
this is the one month forward premium we need to calculate three months forward premium or discount what is the formula formula is forward rate minus spot rate divided by spot rate multiplied by 12 divided by n into 100 now we need to check whether it is a forward premium or discount go to the spot price and three months forward price spot price is 0 0.2481 three months forward price is 0 0.2474 now whether it has increased or decreased it has decreased so that means it is a three months forward discount that we are calculating now what is the forward price forward price is 0 0.2474 minus spot price is how much 0 0.2481 divided by 0 0.2481 multiplied by 12 divided by n n is how much it is a three months contract so n is 3 into 100 that is 0 0.2474 minus minus zero point two four eight one. that is 0 0.0007 divided by 0 0.2481 multiplied by 12 divided by 3 is 4 into 100 this will give you roughly around 1.13 percent this is the three months discount rate now we need to calculate six months forward premium or discount again the same formula forward price minus spot price divided by spot price into 12 divided by n into 100 now again we need to check whether it is a forward premium or discount go to the spot price what is the spot price spot price is 0 0.2481 what is the forward price of six months it is 0 0.2471 whether it has increased or decreased it has decreased so again this is also a six months discount that we are calculating it is a discount now what is the forward price forward price is 0 0.2471 minus spot price is 0 0.2481 divided by 0 0.2481 into 12 divided by n n is how much it is a six months contract six into 100 now 0 0.2471 minus 0 0.2481 is 0 0.001 it is minus when we say it is a discount it is an understood it is minus divided by 0 0.2481 into 2 multiplied by 100 this will give you roughly around 0 0.81 percent this is a six months forward discount rate that means it is in minus this is what they have told us to calculate what they have told us to calculate they have told us to calculate one month three month six month forward premium or discount rate this is the answer for the question d thank you for watching this video we'll meet you once again until then thank you